Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, beauty, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. Today I'm very excited to share with you the Spring Box of Style by Rachel Zoe. I love this box. It is the first box that I opened here on this channel. It is a luxury subscription. It is $99 per season, but you always get well over that value in the box and so far I have loved so many of the items. Sometimes there's items that I don't necessarily use that often but especially with the skincare I've definitely been turned on to some new parts of my daily routine as well as just kind of upped my skincare game and accessory wise and style wise Rachel Zoe is always very inspiring in terms of kind of getting out of your comfort zone as well as being very trendy so I'm excited to see what she's got for us this time around. I have seen most of the spoilers. I did do my customization but I kind of forgot what the actual fifth item is so it will be a little bit of a surprise for me. Now this box did come in another box and the big item in the box in terms of physically size wise uh, was the bag so that bag came wrapped around the box giving a little bit of padding and then there was a big brown box around that to give it even more protection then the bundle of the bag and the box were put in a plastic bag so that's good just to protect it from any moisture damage that could have happened that said let's get right into that bag that was kind of encasing everything else before we get to the box itself. It came in this nice duster bag. It is by Shiralea or Shiralea. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. And it is this big kind of um, honey colored uh, bag and it's two textures which is kind of fun. I believe that it's vegan leather. I'll double check when we go into the booklet. But this leather right now, this part is very pretty and marbled, very very soft, but it does look like in this more suede texture you can tell more that it is a vegan leather versus uh, real leather. I usually do prefer real leather with my purses even though it's pricier and sometimes heavier. I actually feel like it's sometimes more sustainable because they last a little bit longer so far than the other their vegan purses that I've had but um, I respect that choice obviously and sometimes I um, trust Rachel in terms of giving us high quality so it just has one handle here again it's nice and soft so I appreciate that and then let's see what it says what it says what it has in terms of uh, inside situation so inside it's just got one kind of zipper pocket along the lining let's see how how deep that is when I open it up um, because it is nice to have, you know, these these kind of bucket bags where like everything just floats around in there. You do then have to sort of organize by having smaller bags. So it's like not quite like the length of my hand, but it could definitely fit like a card case in there or like your lipsticks or things that otherwise might float around. It does just have like a magnetic snap closure. Um, so there isn't a zipper. So things could fall out if you aren't careful, um, but it is pretty deep. So I'll try to lean back so you can actually see the size. I think it's a great color for spring um, and so far the only bags that I have in this kind of neutral like camel-y tan color are more like crossbody bags um, one of them was even from the first Rachel Zoe box of style that I got back in the fall um, so I'm happy to have like a bigger one that I can actually put some extra stuff in like water bottles or like a extra pair of shoes or like a like a cardigan depending on what you're doing so inside of the big brown box was the little pamphlet. They always do a really nice uh, stylized one where she gives us a little like quote and tells us why she chose this item for the box. And then also just giving us some styling tips as well as the retail values. So I always appreciate when boxes, when subscriptions include the retail values. So I will share those with you as we go along. So this transitional tote, Rachel says, I love a camel bag at the turn of spring because it pops against dark winter coats and looks flawless alongside spring's fresh florals. Um, and then it says that this Shirley Arden tote is $74. So that tells me right off that it is vegan leather. And it is, it says this classic hobo silhouette gets a fresh update by way of the subtle mixed media crafted from vegan leather and suede. So again, one great thing about vegan leather is it's usually pretty lightweight and look how like flat this folds. So this would be a great bag for for travel if you wanted to put it into a bigger bag or even your suitcase um, it doesn't look like it's gonna get messed up by folding so that is one thing that I always struggle with when I am traveling is to have the right purse for all the different outfits because a lot of times those more structured purses just take up so much room in your bigger bags so I appreciate that and I think I will have lots of use for it in that way 
Now the box this time is a beautiful blush pink and I always love these boxes because they have a magnetic closure which makes them really great for storage. I don't want to like drop anything that's in there. So nice magnetic closure you guys and I've used all of my boxes so far. This is kind of a, the smallest box I think that I've gotten and that's probably just because that fifth item was able to appear in a different one. Inside it always just says hello gorgeous. They don't um, mess around with like extra foozles and stuff so I appreciate that. It's nice minimalist packaging so I'm just gonna go through the booklet so and we'll see what else we have. Now the next thing that is in the booklet is the sunglasses. This was the choice item. This is one of the cool things about Box of Style. Whether you are seasonal or annual, there's always one item where you get to customize a little bit. Usually it's choosing the color or style. And this time the item is from Diff Sunglasses, which is funny because they actually appeared in her add-on market. And so a girlfriend of mine who also gets the Box of Style actually got me a pair of Diff Sunglasses for Christmas, which was really nice. The ones that she got me are tortoise shell and I actually have a pair of my gyms that are also tortoise shell so I chose instead of tortoise shell this time I chose the black frames this says it is called the bold basic in here it does come in a nice uh, little pouch that you could use also to clean the lenses Rachel says, I never leave home without my sunnies, even on a rainy day. These tortoise and black versions are striking, timeless, and look great on everyone. Well, we'll see about that, Rachel. Um, it does say, for every pair of glasses sold, Diff provides the gift of sight to someone in need. So that is always nice that they work with companies with a cause. These glasses are the Bella sunglasses, and they retail at $85. So those are some pricey sunglasses. I do usually like to wear polarized glasses, um, but sometimes I will sacrifice that for style. Um, we'll see if they look good on everyone because they are a kind of more square cut so let me show these to you try not to get too much of that ring light reflection you can kind of see that uh, almost violety lens that they've got so I do like that they're more square not super round because I have a really round face so like round sunglasses just sort of exaggerate that and make me look like a, like a little bug um, but because they are sort of big I'm afraid that they might actually rest on my cheekbones instead of on my nose because they have kind of a flat nose I do like you can see that they have sort of a thinner um, side piece usually a lot of the times it's kind of that thicker plastic but it's like almost a metal piece here and then the plastic here uh, that goes behind your ear for comfort so we're gonna give them a shot again hope I for, forgive me for any ring light reflection I'll try to look more out the window so they don't actually sit on my cheeks if I if I smile at you then yes they touch my cheeks but um if I'm just um, giving you my RBF then I don't feel them on my cheeks which is nice let me know what you guys think they're kind of a big um, thick rim for me a big thick frame but I think they're kind of cool they're kind of classic um, definitely very very um, stylized I feel like I should have more money in that purse than I do to go shopping for more expensive sunglasses I for a little while back in my probably early 30s I had a thing for like expensive sunglasses and I wound up having to sell a whole bunch of them on eBay just because I was running out of money because I was spending like $500 on random sunglasses that didn't even necessarily look good that good on me so I'm glad to have a really nice luxury pair of sunglasses with a good cause in a good box all right so let me know though guys be honest let me know if those looked ridiculous on me all right the next item that we are seeing this is the item that i did not remember so this is the accessory and it is the subtle statement it says it's by Bayou or Bayou um, and this says crafted by my most talented friend Nikki Reed this elegant chain like bracelet adds instant glamour to everything from jeans and a t-shirt to an evening gown um, uh, wow this retail value is hundred and ninety five dollars so this is the priciest item in the box but see you're definitely getting your value hopefully that high ticket item is one that you like now I usually like the jewelry in her boxes sometimes they're really dainty and delicate sometimes they're more statement this is pretty bold not so much because of the design which is just these kind of like bigger links and smaller links you can see how they alternate it's like a bigger length two smaller ones a bigger one two smaller ones but it is really yellow gold so that's not just the camera that's making it look yellow it is really that gold 
I don't usually like to wear bracelets like this just because they are so hard to put on you guys even with that like adjuster I probably won't be able to put this on for you in all honesty on camera but it is like nice and small I can see that if I put it on the smallest link it will actually fit my hand nicely my wrist nicely so I appreciate that a lot of times again the reason I don't wear a lot of bracelets unless they're cuffs that are adjustable is because usually like bangles and stuff just are too big on my wrists and they get really distracting but then again when you do have like that adjuster that length that tail sometimes that's annoying too so I can't get it on for you I am so sorry I don't know that um, I would even use one of my magnetic clasps that I love so much on this just because that might add length or just might look a little bit weird pattern wise but it's kind of pretty like I said it's just really yellow let me know what you guys think I hate to not use it when it is almost worth $200 let's see why that is it says these hand assemble bracelets are made using recycled brass and then plated with refined 14 karat yellow gold so this is actually gold plated so you are getting some quality if I can just figure out how to put it on then maybe I will give it a shot and maybe it will make an appearance in one of my Instagram stories or posts let's see what else we've got a couple more items to go so the next thing is the transformative toner by Erno Laszlo so this is the box kind of a nice refreshing looking box Rachel says emerging from the winter months my skin craves products that revitalize and hydrate this easy to use toner is a quick addition to my skincare routine that delivers high impact results now I haven't used toner for a while I used to use the like Clinique toner um, all the time but I know that it is kind of a nice addition to not just cleansing your face but then using that toner to get the extra like dead skin cells off before you apply your moisturizer so I don't have one that I am using and again I have really really loved all of the skincare products I've gotten in this box I do like the packaging it's very nice it almost looks like glass but it is in flat in fact plastic so let's see what it says about this it says revives dry complexions after the harsh winter months unlike alcohol based toners this gentle formula sweeps away dead and aging skin while delivering natural skin renewing nutrients and this is worth $68 so that is definitely a toner I pro probably wouldn't purchase for myself but I'm definitely happy to give it a shot and use it I have been having a lot of like dry skin and even breakouts and stuff and like the moisturizers by themselves aren't cutting it because I think I am not getting to like slough off all that extra stuff so I'll let you know how that works out and then we have one more item in this fabulous box it is the main moisturizer so I definitely have a bit of a main I'm excited to give this a shot another kind of refreshing looking package this is by R and Co and Rachel Zoe says who doesn't want a product that makes their hair lustrous and manageable I apply this lightweight hydrating cream to my damp hair for a smooth finish or use it to nourish my ends in between blowouts so I don't do blowouts I usually just let my hair dry naturally um, but I am excited to have this I do think that most of your hair health comes from your scalp but it's definitely nice to give my ends a little bit of extra conditioning and moisturizing because I do wind up almost washing my hair every single day because I do kind of have an oily scalp so I definitely have to give the ends a little bit more attention it is vegan and cruelty free it says the subtle yet alluring fragrance leaves your hair smelling fresh all day and the retail value on this is $29 so the least expensive item in this box is still almost $30 I definitely think that you're getting your value especially when that bracelet that I can't get on for you is uh, $200 and the box itself is $99 and obviously if you do a annual subscription then it brings it down I think you save like fifty um, $50 for the whole year so that's pretty good maybe a hundred dollars I think it brings it down significantly so and then in the back it just tells you a little bit more about all five of the brands that are featured I hold on to these just because I like to keep it as a record I hold on to a lot of the pamphlets that come in a lot of these boxes I will say this is probably not my very favorite box that I've gotten so far and so far I have gotten three I like the bag it's not like my usual sort of shape or go-to but I think the color will be great for spring um, I usually really like the jewelry accessory 
and I'm a little bit okay iffy on this super gold bracelet that I can't manage to put on by myself. The glasses I am pleasantly surprised by. I thought that those would be a miss, but I think they'll work. And then of course I'm excited to try out the two like products, one for hair and one for the skin. And those I'm sure will be like slam dunks because everything else so far from the box of style has been. Let me know what your favorite item is, you guys. Let me know what you think about luxury subscription boxes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.